It's strange because the San Antonio Spurs have consistently been the most under the radar team in the league for decades and I've spent many years defending Kawhi Leonard as one of the most underrated and underappreciated players in the game. But this season, his name is being thrown around in the MVP conversation for the same reason he finished second to Curry last year. He's an elite player on both ends of the floor. That's why he's won Defensive Player of the Year twice. But this year, he's basically become the throw-in guy for those who don't like the stat stuffing and turnover margins from Westbrook and Harden, and those that buy into the false media narrative that LeBron is having a down year, when in reality, he's actually having his best career season in assists and rebounds. But the numbers don't back up Kawhi like they have in previous seasons. Did you know the Spurs actually had a higher defensive efficiency rating with Kawhi Leonard on the bench? Did you know the Spurs went 6-1 this season when Kawhi didn't play? The Cavs went 0-7 when LeBron sat. So you can make an MVP argument for Westbrook, Harden, and LeBron, but I'm sorry, I really like Kawhi, and if I had to start a team from scratch with one player, he'd be in the top five of my list. But there's no valid MVP argument for him this year. And he definitely shouldn't be Defensive Player of the Year because San Antonio's defense actually improved when he left the game. Show Rudy Gobert some love. He's put up Bill Russell numbers this season. 